one second video today. I hope this makes up for my lack of videos, although I know it really doesn't. Okay, hey everyone, it's DZ, and welcome to the Fallout 4 Contraptions DLC review. Um, okay, this is the latest DLC for Fallout, and if I'm not mistaken, the second to last one. So, let's go ahead and get things started uh, on the right foot. Alright. Well, let's see. This DLC starts with a pretty basic premise. You get a distress signal. Your idea is to finish up the... to fix the vault. All that... All that, all that creamy goodness. Okay, so how does it play? It is essentially the sister DLC to Automatron. That is to say, it's short. It can be cleared in the span of about two hours, which I did. I did basically everything uh, within two hours, uh, and then after doing that, which essentially amounts to a two-hour tutorial for the DLC, it essentially hands you the keys tells you to go nuts. So, I wanted to go ahead and put that out there. That's how it works. The DLC in and of itself is short, but it adds a lot of uh, replayability because of that. The entire point of the DLC is to build a vault for yourself, settlers, and everything and I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of spoilers, but considering it's really short, you guys would have found this out with a uh, little real change. Um, you become an overseer, and, you know, you have total control over the vault, and such and such and such and such. Now, what are my thoughts on the DLC? I think it's pretty well done, all things considered. Uh-huh. All right. All right. Suboptimal, spiky... Uh-huh. All right. Well, I just wanted to go ahead and give that a quick review. You become that. Overall, is the DLC good? Let me play let me phrase it like this. If you liked Automatron and you think that was very well done, all that, you like that you liked the um, you liked the work behind that everything felt good and solid and all that you um, and you know you have um, just kind of a taste for that you like the idea of becoming an overseer building a vault that is um, your own I'm trying to think of good ways to phrase this. Essentially, if you like vaults, you like building, you like kind of getting keys to the kingdom and making a very clean settlement, you will like this DLC. Um, any complaints to it? Yeah. Um, just the general 
complaints that would be um, that would be pretty obvious uh, at a DLC like this. It has uh, well, I mean, it's obviously pretty short, and if you don't like crafting, you're not gonna like this DLC because that it is heavily crafting focused. There is zero way around that. So, you know, your opinion on crafting will essentially be your opinion on the DLC in a nutshell. If you have a deep distaste for crafting, you will have a deep distaste for this DLC. Just looking to trade a little. Go ahead. If you, however, like crafting, like putting in extra work, kind of like feeling a vault come together, you know, building, uh, literally creating something from nothing and having a massive fucking place to do it because this is far and wide the single biggest place you can build on. Bar none, no excuses. So, if you like that, then this DLC is for you, period. If you don't like the idea of that, then this DLC sadly holds very little appeal. But, I feel that the, um, the design of it, and all that, it's very well done. It's very, um... It's very down to earth. It gives you something that a lot of people were wanting for a while that, yes, some mods have done. But if you're on the PS4 like me, then, you know, that, that's a... Is just the best. I tell everyone. Can we trade a few things? Then, you know, obviously it does you no good. So, with that in mind, Um, because a lot of this DLC does kind of have to be seen to be believed. I don't want to give out too many spoilers. Uh, my ultimate recommendation is, obviously, if you enjoy crafting, if you have the season pass, get it, because there's no reason not to, because, I mean, you've already paid for it. Not taking it is kind of pointless at this idea. It's like, yeah, I, I can I can just go ahead and phrase it like that because, you know. But the vault is very nice. It's very clean. It looks very good because uh, essentially from this point all the way forward, you have total control. As you can see, no green barricade. None. You have a long distance to control, and this vault has a lot of size to work with. I kind of went a little overzealous and need to do some more crafting. Okay, let's go ahead and get the obvious stuff out of the way. What new does this add? Well, the biggest thing is, you guys remember the new generator. This big son of a bitch, right? 100 power, never need anything again. Well, there's this, the Vault Tech Reactor. That's 150 power. Already kind of hard to run out of, but you'd be surprised in a vault, because this is meant to accommodate lots of people. Then the Super Reactor, 500 power. This is Institute level electricity. You, if you need no more than that. If you can build a Super Reactor, those are some stiff requirements, by the way, but if you can you will never need any uh, electricity again for the most part. Uh, that's one of the f first things it adds. It also adds new power conduits which allow you to transfer electricity from room to room using these. Uh, and these for other reasons. So it gives you the ability to um, make less visible wires. You know, it gives you the illusion of a vault. You know, it gives you more uh, 
clean stuff to work with. There's also vault lights, like fluorescent lights and everything. You can tell uh, what has been added specifically by looking in the upper right hand corner of the picture and, uh, you know, the little uh, cog in the upper corner, which looks just like a vault door, it tells you what's been added. To over, yeah, so you can do that. Now, uh, how do a lot of these work? Uh, for the vast majority of these, and I do mean vast majority, uh, a lot of these are pretty self-explanatory. This is mostly just a similar terminal, I believe. Yeah, this is this essentially just does. Um, th this um, this lets you just track companions and stuff like that. Vocational view shows you the jobs available. See that this this works well. It cuts down a little bit of busy work, which is great. Um, there's no new signs or neon or anything. That that's from that uh, logic gates and stuff. That's from contraptions, conveyor belts, machinery, all that stuff. So a lot of this stuff's been covered. The amount it adds is small but nice. Um, you know, like for example, now if you have guard towers, you don't have to have these messy ones. You can just have these solid ones. So it can kind of give you a vault or even a gunner feel, uh, which is good. It's great. Uh, there's no new turrets and no new uh, traps. So, for resources, during the DLC you will have some prototypes that you can do. And you can later on you can basically turn them into real objects that do different things. Like this power cycle that allows settlers to produce power for you. This faux raptor which... Uh, adds happiness just generally this soda fountain which just adds happiness and this slot machine which just adds happiness all ways to essentially make the vault a better place uh, for miscellaneous stuff there's not really anything added other than the barber and surgery chair which allow you to you know change your appearance in your own vault meaning you don't need to go to places like diamond city or things like that essentially at all um, for stores uh, the stores are still the same they've always been so oh and just just to go ahead just in case you guys think I'm not showing you something uh, the soda fountain and slot machine all that you literally just assign a settler to them if they say they assign a settler there's nothing more to them. When you place them on the ground and use them, they can give you slight bonuses depending on how you set them up during the DLC. Uh, if you want an example of how that works, check out my previous video where I go through all that. Uh, obviously the cages and the raider stuff is not from here. Uh, as far as crafting goes, there's nothing new crafting wise, which is a little bit upsetting because that means some of your crafting stuff is going to look a little out of place except for like the weapons workbench which is uh, clean enough the power armor station stuff you, a lot of this stuff is um, clean enough for structures uh, it adds the uh, vault structures which essentially uh, give you vault based uh, stuff uh, and yes you can build your own vault door now meaning you can build your own um, outdoor vault for whatever level of oxymoron that is but the structures for the vault because this is not all just strictly here you know you can build your own vault how you like uh, meaning, provided you have enough space, you can turn pretty much anywhere into a vault. Uh, essentially, domestic and utility, uh, more or less.
means do you want your vault in blue or red uh, or an atrium yellow-ish like this um, as you can see I've done a little bit of construction already combined with uh, bits that were already done sadly there weren't a huge amount just a visual spoiler for you guys later you, you'll find out what happens um, so yeah uh, that's kind of the long and short of it do I recommend this yes but with the caveat of you need to like essentially creating your own stuff out of thin air I liked Automatron because it gave me Simon who was a great companion this DLC gives you a lot more building materials ways to temporarily boost your stats essentially for free uh, which is always good and very clean looking building materials granted it's not super clean but it is a billion times better what you normally have and that is what I have been wanting this whole time so maybe my perceptions a little bit colored so I wanted to go ahead and put that out there uh, overall what would I rate this DLC uh, it's a very solid 8 out of 10. It's pretty above average to me specifically. To anyone else, your own opinion is your own on what you believe the value of crafting and vault-based stuff is. If you dislike the appearance of vaults, obviously this DLC holds nothing for you. Uh, if you have the Season Pass, again, you might as well just go ahead and get it since you've already paid for it. So it'd be kind of a waste to not to. So, to not to, that, I'm almost certain that was in English. So, that is my overall opinion on it. And, I just want to go ahead and put that out there. However, if you dislike crafting, or you don't care about vault stuff, then obviously th this would just be a flat zero out of ten for you, wouldn't it? Because there's nothing to it but more vault related stuff. If you don't like just a tiny bit more information on Vault Tech and a little bit about one character from Fallout 3 who's mentioned by name, uh, then y y you get nothing, really. So, it really just comes down to that. However, I believe the DLC is alright. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and put that out there. I'm so sorry. Uh, I know that this video came off a bit rambly and everything, but I'm kind of at loss for words to say. It's about exactly what you would expect, I think, is the best way to put it. Again, it's short. It's mostly just any story or quests that are here is mostly just for a few hundred XP and a tutorial on how the DLC is going to function. Other than that, if you just want more crafting material, then that's great, especially if you want cleaner crafting material. Alright, the one thing that I did add that I absolutely love. Clean fucking beds. Seriously. Look at that. It's beautiful. Of course, there are also uh, vault chairs and everything. If you like to clean building materials, you'll like it. If you don't, you won't. So sorry, but that that's just how it is. But there's a lot more colorful stuff added. I mean, you can see all this. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, again, mostly if you just like stuff that's um, undestroyed, it's great. If that's not really your concern, or you like the whole post-apocalyptic survivalist thing, and it, you know, doesn't hold any appeal to you, I'm sorry, but that's just how it is. See, there's stuff you can do, like weight benches and stuff, I'm certain that can improve the way you look. Uh, TVs that don't look destroyed, 
too bad. I'm almost certain they don't work. Vault decorations, which are nice, like these signs that say residential maintenance, all that. So essentially, you know, you get the ability to, uh, to build your own uh, vault. That, that, it's essentially exactly what was posted. Um, and of course, you know what? I'll go ahead and give this... Vault Boy will give my overall opinion on this DLC. Beautiful. Okay. So, overall, I think the DLC is nice. Everything. It works. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any major glitches with it that I have encountered. It doesn't seem to have any, um... Any open problems. So, you know, that's... That's amazing. Uh, you can actually rebuild your own stereo. Funnily enough, this is like kind of one of the keys to if you wanted to, uh... Like, recreate a pre-war settlement. Um, if you can find a way to do that, that's great. So, you know what, guys? I think that that's all the time we have for this review. As always, this has been DZ. Uh, I hope to see you guys in the next video. You know, peace. Uh, whenever you're seeing this video, I'm always glad to entertain. As long as you guys are seeing this video and being entertained, my job is done. Uh, you know, if you like the video, uh, share it with your friends. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment, all that. It always helps. And, you know, it really does make me feel better knowing that people are seeing this and enjoying it. If you do, you know, share it with your friends if you think they'd like it. So, I hope to see you guys in the next video. If I left anything out, please let me know. If you have any questions, I will answer them in the comments. I try to answer every single comment I get. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, and peace. I'll see you guys in the next video.